Xavier in the Redneck Garage. Well, I'm moving along with the Jeep pretty well. I'm doing the electrical portions of it. And if you remember from the last video, here's a link to that. Um, we were dealing with the battery and running down wires and grounds and all that kind of stuff. Now, one thing I realized when I was doing that is that the battery terminals were in terrible, terrible shape. I tried to tighten one up and the bolt broke off. They had been eaten up by acid. So it's time to change them out. Now, I bought something to do that with and it is... Fastronic Solutions Military Spec Battery Terminal Kit. Now, I, I don't know what military spec means, if they actually spec it out militarily, or <laughs> I have no idea. But I got these on Amazon. There's going to be a link below um, for these terminals, and they are super, super cool. So let's take a look at these. Now, here's what you get for 30 bucks, right? You get your two terminals. This one's Mark Minus. This one's Positive. You get two covers. It's got heat shrink tubing that comes with it, super, and it comes with all the lugs that we're going to solder onto the ends of the existing cables. And basically you just take your terminal and you'll have your two wire ends, right, and this will go through one side and the other, and you bolt it down. And the cool thing about these two is if you have something like a, like say you're going to run a winch off of it or anything else, you've got room to put another terminal on the end. And then, of course your cover will cover up everything else and your cables will come through the back of it. So it's really a cool thing for 30 bucks to get this and it's a lot better than the cheap ones you can get at like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or uh, uh, all your other other parts stores because this one's going to be the Mamba Jamba. All right, like I said on a previous video, these battery terminals just basically suck. You can see there's two liars going into each one. I tried to tighten this one down, and of course it just snapped off the bolt. It's rusty, they're nasty, so that's why we're replacing them. Now I could just cut them off here, um, but what I think I'm going to do is try to uh, get the cables out of the lead portion, so just cut that off and then get them out um, so as to not lose length. And we'll see how successful that is. If I have to, I can cut them off. But we'll do that first and see how that works. There we go. Look at that. So those are basically the same length as before. That's super cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm basically going to do what I did the other day. I'm going to heat up this lug really good, fill it with solder, stick it in there. We'll be good to go. So you're just going to heat up that lug, which is made of copper. And when it gets hot enough, it'll melt. And these are crimp on lugs, but I've always just done it this way. And I've never had any problems. Because there's no gap or anything. So I got it full. Make sure it's good and hot. And then I just take my end stick it in the solder and I let it cool for just a minute and there you go I'll do the other negative side real quick looks great so I'll let those cool off for just a little bit we'll put the heat trick on and then we'll look at the terminal great <laughs> okay so there's our completed terminal ends they look just super awesome and uh, then I'll show you what we do next on them next I got the cover we're gonna put over it like that and then we'll put our uh, terminal. You can see this one's got a minus on it. It'll fit on the negative terminal just perfectly. So we'll get my bolt. It's got a bolt and a nut that go on it here. And then we'll set it on there. Basically you want to turn it 
where they're kind of facing the inside, like that. Get the nut on. And that's about it. And then I'll look at that. Let me go get a wrench and we'll tighten it down. Set it down and tighten it up on the battery post. And then you can slide your cap. I'm not tightening it down right now, but and you put your cap over it. And you got to admit that looks like a pretty good professional installation, and you don't have to worry that it's going to loosen up. That looks great. And I'll do the same thing with the positive side. I got to drag those wires out, but uh, super cool. Now, as far as military spec goes, I don't know about that, but you can see that because of the way that this is designed. Um, if you had something like a winch or anything else that needed power, you could uh, uh, easily add another couple wires here. If it's like a relay operated one, um, you could come straight off the battery and connect it to uh, the back side of this post. Plenty of extra room to go ahead and install another cable or two. Because you can see that there's room in the back for it to come out. So that's super, super cool. And that is a huge improvement over these junky factory ones. Okay, so I'm going to say this is a huge improvement. For $30, I just improved my situation immensely as far as the battery connection goes. Um, when you're tightening these down, you want to leave it parallel to the top. Uh, you don't have to ask me how I know that, but then you can just slide the cap over, and it sits over. It's flat down on the battery, then you can't get the, the little cover over. And uh, how great does that look? And this is a military spec battery terminal replacement, <laughs> whatever that means. It looks great though, man. That is super, super cool. Okay, so that's going to be it for the battery terminals, man. I'm just super happy with those. Now, you may not be doing a restoration like mine. You may be doing like a winch or uh, lighting or anything else that needs a, a line coming straight off of the battery that's relay powered. Um, those terminals are awesome and they were about $30. Uh, I'm going to put a link down below from Amazon to get those. For any Jeep, really, those are a great, great upgrade for the connections on the battery, especially if yours are kind of messed up. And you can see that they're far, far better than like the ones you can get at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or any other other parts store where you tighten them down on the top with a couple bolts. Those suck. These are really, really awesome. Now, as far as military spec grade, I don't know. I didn't research that to see if they really were or not. But they are heavy duty, they've got the covers over them for protection, so if the battery bounces around or something hits it, it won't short out. Man, I'm just tickled with that. $30, it's one of the best upgrades I've done. I'm David from the Redneck Garage, keep turning wrenches.